Now we'll just continue the second part of the breathing practice where we narrow our attention down to the small area beneath the nostrils and what we're looking for is the sensation of the air on the exhale. If it helps to make a stronger breath and exhale, to feel that in the beginning, just do that so you can recognise what you're looking for. We spend so much time in our thoughts and locked up in our incessant thinking, constant thinking, that we often lose touch with the sensations in the body. And we're actually training ourselves to grow in awareness and come in contact with the sensations. In this case, the second part of the breathing activity, which is the uh, feeling the air on the exhale of the opening to the nostril. Now, just another point. At the beginning of these exercises, we can tell the class, this might seem a bit silly, it might seem a bit funny, but just remember we're all doing it for the first time. And that just takes away some of the you know, the unusualness of some of these practices because often many people, perhaps including yourself, have very rarely turned their attention on their inner life. And in the beginning it can be a bit unsettling even to even recognise what goes on in our minds by turning the spotlight away from the distractions of the external world to the activity of our inner lives the passing thoughts and feelings that are rising and falling all day long, not unlike waves on the ocean. So here we go. Shutting the eyes one more time, putting your attention on the breathing and narrowing your attention down to that small area beneath the nostrils. So breathing in and out, normally and naturally, to your body's own rhythm. Remember there's nothing to get, there's no competition, there's no trying. You're just simply watching yourself breathing. The exercises are very simple. Not necessarily easy because the mind is always there trying to distract you. And your job is to stay fully and totally focused on the air entering and leaving the body. Breathing in and breathing out. In particular, looking for that small gust of wind that small gust of air on the exhale at the opening to the nostrils. Let's try that for one or two minutes. Noticing if the air is warm or cool on the inhale. Noticing the feeling of the air on the exhale. Noticing if you have long or short breaths. Noticing anything whatsoever, but most importantly, looking for the sensation of the air on the exhale of the opening to the nostrils. Very good. Just bringing your attention just gently back into the room let's just press on with the day. We'll bring this lesson to an end. Just to recap, lesson one, we've looked at what mindfulness is, why we do it, the benefits that we can achieve from regular practice. We've looked at breathing part one and two. We've looked at the model of the house as a symbol of taking care of our own home, which is our body and our minds. And we've looked at the cloud activity to help draw attention to our thoughts and make more sense of why we practice mindfulness. So I'll see you next lesson and thank you.